Hey guys, Troy from Washright. Just a happy New Year's. Today is the 1st of January here in New Zealand. Just a quick video in regards to marketing, but more importantly, remarketing. So what we do a lot of here at Washright, we obviously do a lot of marketing. Our marketing budget is a lot. It's you know, six figures throughout the entire year, um, easily. Um, multiple six figures probably. But what we spend a lot of time on and a lot of effort on is remarketing and retargeting. So we all know we out there spend a lot of money on marketing to get these customers. So every customer has a cost of acquisition. So every customer costs you and I money to get them as a customer, either if it's you know door hangers, flyers, TV ads, radio ads, pain sales reps, commissions. There's always a cost to get that person as a customer. So once you've got them as a customer, you wanna keep them as a customer year on year because your return on investment, your ROI, goes up the second and third year or the second and third time they use you. Most of your residential customers will be a yearly customer if you're lucky. Um, most of ours are either yearly or every 18 months. Um, unlike you guys in the States, we don't particularly have a season where we have to get it done in a certain period of time because of snow. Um, our winters, we might have 10 days of the year where it gets below freezing, and that's only at night. Uh, daytime, it's just above freezing. So we can still really work all year round. But to give you guys a rough idea on how we remarket, here are a couple of the basic, it's not everything we do, I can't tell you everything that we do, but these are some very basic ways you can remarket, and most of them are for free. So just to give you a rough idea, remarketing, the rough definition is targeted ads or promotions to people who have already visited slash use your services. So if you're a service business like us, they've used our service. If you've got a shop or a store or a, um, an actual a location that's a business, visit. So some good ideas. The first thing I'd be doing is the Facebook pixel. So what this is, is this is basically people that have visited your website, you can have a Facebook pixel on there and it will track that person through back to their Facebook page and it will show them your Facebook ads and your promotions on Facebook and you'll basically just follow them around throughout the, throughout the internet. Um, we get our IT company to sort that, that for us. Um, MailChimp, um, MailChimp's free guys. I'm pretty sure you can send up to 10,000 emails a month I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure it's 10,000 a month for free before you even have to pay for it. So download from your CRM or whatever system you use or your customer contacts, put them into MailChimp, send out some newsletters. Yeah, you know, we send at least four annual newsletters a year, basically on the change of each season. In that newsletter is some updates about wash right. Um, there could be some tips and tricks, there could be a story. If you know, Wash Right has sponsored a local sports team, we'll have that in there and how they're going. Um, we sponsor a few, a netball team, motocross, um, speedway, drag racing. So we sponsor a few things and we just have the updates on them in there and we always have a discount coupon. You always have a call to action. And that's all free, you can design that on MailChimp totally for free. So jump on MailChimp. LinkedIn, but more importantly, LinkedIn Premium. Um, with LinkedIn Premium, I can go on there and I can search any past customer, if they have a LinkedIn profile, and it will tell me everything about them. As long as their profile is up to date, I can even pull out their date of birth. So what I'll do is I'll go in there monthly normally, pull, pull out any of our major customers, pull it, find out when their birthday is. If their birthday is coming up, I'd send them a birthday card. In that birthday card might be a gift voucher for a really nice restaurant, um, movie tickets, tickets to a, uh, a football game, something. You know, um, but LinkedIn Premium, it, it's great for us. We mainly use it for our commercial customers, um, but you guys really should be using that a lot more than you do. Um, thank you letters. So we more send out thank you emails. So we use Jobber, and in Jobber um, we can have some settings in place that allows us that as soon as the job's closed, it will send the customer a thank you email and it will also rate, ask them to rate our performance from zero to 10 and the customer will review our service and that email comes back to me, the owner. Every single email I review it, every single email gets forwarded through to the operations manager. If the email, if we are rated a six or below, the operations manager personally has to be out on site within 24 hours to view the job, fix the job, find out why we didn't get a higher score. Very rarely happens. 
um, and then every review gets shown or forwarded through to the operations person who physically done that job. Um, any review that's a 10 or above, we basically put that score into an, another system that um, goes towards our staff's pays, commissions, bonuses, payroll, that type of stuff. And we, the more 10 out of 10s we get, the more they get paid. But with the thank you letter, um, three months after the job's completed, no, three months after the customer's paid, the system will automatically send you another letter and it will basically say, hey, we just want to thank you very much. Our business is growing. It grows because of loyal customers like you. If you ever need anything, feel free to contact us. Here's a 10% discount coupon. Um, so that there really works a lot. A lot of customers say that it comes out of the blue and they appreciate it and it works very well for us. Okay, so basically, Send an invite to your customers. Again, we, as, same, as part of this um, email, there's a link in there, and we send our customers a link asking them to follow us on social media. We want our customers to stay engaged with us throughout the year. We don't want them to forget who the company was that washed the house. So we get them to follow us on social media. Um, works great. We probably have a, yeah, it probably, we probably don't get as much work out of them following us on social media as we um, as we track. We just assume that they're a repeat customer because they loved our service the first time instead of that they've kept up with us on social media. So it's a bit hard to track, but um, you know, get your customers to follow you on social media. Um, we do a lot of that through LinkedIn and a lot through Instagram. Obviously, CRM reports. We run Jobber, we like it. Um, we will pull out a report for every customer that we have serviced 11 and a half to 12 months ago. And our admin team will actually ring those customers if they haven't already booked in uh, organically and just say, hi, this is Troy from Wash Right. I've just noticed that it's been 12 months since your last house wash, roof wash, whatever. Would you like us to book you in for your annual house wash, roof wash, whatever? You'd be surprised how well that works. Realistically, we probably get a 30% instant yep book us in and then we end up getting up to about a 50 percent from those phone calls booked in within four weeks so obviously the, the difference is people um they don't book it in then and there but they go home it's in the back of their mind hey my house has been 12 months it's the last house wash they start to notice a little bit of dirt a little bit of grime and then, then they call us back so that's huge for us guys and that is abs i'm actually looking to employ a person in the new year just to do this across our franchise network. Um, it's huge. Okay, then obviously, retargeting Google ads and Facebook ads. So again, you know, goes back to Facebook, the little pixel, or you can go through your Google Analytics and find out the people that have actually come and looked at your website, um, regardless if they're purchased or not, and you can target ads to them. So your ad will show up on there when they search on Google, Instagram, a million other places, but you can just follow that person around throughout the internet and keep feeding them your ads, and subconsciously they're gonna always think house wash, wash right. Um, you know, so just like you know, people just subconsciously think, you know, soft drink Coke, um, photocopying Xerox, so that's good. Um, again, we get our IT company to look after that with our Facebook pixel, and it all comes down to cost of acquisition. Obviously, the customer the first year, it's cost you a lot of money in advertising and marketing to get them as a customer. So you fork out a lot of money. Some of my customers cost me 50, 60, 100, some up to $300 to get them as a customer. A big commercial customer that we would work on for maybe a month or three or up to even six months to get them as a customer, I'm paying a sales rep to deal with that customer, that potential customer, I'm paying him $60,000 a year base retainer. It's a lot of money, so that customer has a big cost of acquisition to get them as a customer. Then obviously on the second year, if, they, if we can get them through any one of these, our cost of acquisition almost drops away by 90%. And all that means is you know, your profit margin goes up. And that's what it's all about, you know, keeping as many customers for as long as possible to make as much money as long and as high as possible. And keeping that profit margin is the key. Yeah, I mean, yeah, there's an old saying, you know, yeah, turnover is for vanity, profit is sanity. So we, we want the profit margins to go up. 
that's how we can afford to keep putting on new trucks and big buildings and new new trucks for our sales guys to drive and all that type of stuff is you need a profit margin and you need good profits you know i I don't apologize for making good money out of this business and neither should you guys. You know, we're in business to make money. So guys, this over the holidays while you're doing your marketing plan, also do a remarketing plan. You know, you've spent a lot of time and a lot of effort to get these customers and you want to keep them. So guys, this is just the basic free ones we do. Um, we do a lot more in depth. That's, um, you know, cut few of them are trade secrets that we keep within our franchise group. But, um, now, these are the basics, and I think if you've done these here, you should be able to lift your sales from existing customers by a good 20, 25% if you implement all these. And just remember, most of these are free, and the ones that do cost like uh, LinkedIn Premium, you can get a free trial. Jump on there, get a free trial, give it a go. If it doesn't work, you've lost nothing. If it does work, stick with it. Okay, guys, so have a good New Year's. Um, don't forget to remarket, and have a good holidays.